So it's hurricane season here, as you can tell by the mud, but uh, which is actually a lot of fun. Love it. So the five steps to a successful life. That's what we're going to talk about today. And they're pretty simple, but the last one is what makes them all work together. So stick around for that one. And just so you know, um, my name's Steve. I have uh, been poor, I've been a millionaire, I've been broke, I've been everywhere in between. And now I live most of the year off grid in Baja, Mexico. And so this channel is dedicated to helping people find their best life. Because this is definitely pretty close to my best life. So that's what we're here to do. So let's get into it. So the first one, and if you watch some of my videos, this one is going to be obvious to you. And that is values. And so you might say, what are you talking about? Values are knowing who you are. And that essentially is the key to everything in your life rolling out to be a life that is the most happy for you. Because knowing what you value, knowing, and that's like knowing the things in your life, the, the things that you want to have and be part of that make you the most happy and the most satisfied and the most energized and bring you that sort of deep fulfillment, not just momentary uh, happiness or momentary thrills or whatever. It's the, it's the deeper stuff. So for example, minor freedom, creativity, entrepreneurship, really personal growth and learning are huge for me as well. If I didn't have that in my life, it would be horrible. Um, and the challenge of new adventures and doing things for myself, thus the off-grid living, which I really, really enjoy. And that's also part of the creative process for me as well. So those are the things I value. And once I really, really understood those, I was able to create a life that gave me those things and just felt a lot better than the life that I was living. So, and essentially that's knowing yourself. So number one, values. Number two is vision. And that is having a story, having a heroic story, having a vision and an understanding of what your best future is based on your values or what your best life is based on your values. And really saying, if I was to get the greatest life possible, what would I envision? And typically I base that on like five categories. That's like finances, mental health, body health, relationships, and then your passion pursuits or your purpose. That for me is like how I craft my vision. And there are other videos that I do that talk about uh, those five life categories in specific. But knowing where you want to go or who you want to be. And people might say, oh, well, you know, you can't really uh, dictate where in life you want to be, or I'm more about like just being present in the moment. And you know, a lot of spiritual people say this stuff and that's cool because if that is your vision to be present or just to be, or not to worry about anything then, and then not do a vision, then that actually becomes your vision. So you have to ask yourself, what does that actually mean to you? Some people might want riches and millions and to live in far off places like, like I do here, or to have a family, or to uh, run a business, uh, or any other thing. But it's really knowing what that is that's the key so that you have something to work towards and to work on on a daily basis. So you get motivation, you get focus, you get purpose, all those things. Oh, and if you like this content and you're getting stuff out of it, then like, subscribe, and I will keep doing this 
And also comment below and tell me what you want to hear about the most. Thanks. Now back to the content. And the third one is having goals to match the vision, to get you to that vision. And these, and this I mean is measurable goals so that you can see, okay, where am I starting now? And where do I want to be in a measurable way? And you can measure that in a whole bunch of ways. You can measure that with like, uh, let's say it's like, it's your health. You want to be physically more fit. You want to lose weight. Finance is an easy one. You're like, I want to have so much money in the bank. I want to have a house. I want to have whatever. Uh, and then you have purpose or passion pursuits. I want to master something. And what does that mean? That means in three years, I want to be really good at a guitar and playing in front of people and be able to play five, 10 songs, 20 songs, 30 songs, that sort of thing is taking these dreams, these sort of amorphous like uh, thoughts and ideas and giving them a basis in reality from which to measure them so that you can have things to work on in your daily life, monthly, weekly, whatever you want to call it, so that you understand where are you in relation to those goals. And the way to do that is to, to give them measurements and to give them uh, a way for you to see, okay, if I work out three times a week, then in a year, I'll be able to lose weight, gain muscle, that sort of thing. That's why goals are really, really important. So the next one, you might not think that this is what you need in your life to be successful, but it is absolutely necessary. And we as a society are missing out on this one big time. And that is community. And I don't just mean like a group of friends who you go drinking with or like hang out with and gossip or, uh, once in a while go see movies or go to concerts. I mean a community. I mean a good, a community of people that are like-minded, that are interested in the same things that you are, and they will be honest with you. They will hold you accountable. They will support you, and they will also challenge you. And this is essential because a lot of us have friends and family who don't do any of this at all. And this isn't good. This isn't a good community. You want to, I mean, you have family, you can't get, really get rid of them. You want to find people who have your same values, who want to be better, and who are going to be honest with you and hold you accountable and not just be like, they're just shallow people to hang around with because you couldn't find anyone else. No. A good, solid community uh, are people that you choose to be around that sort of force you to be a better, not force you, but encourage you to be a better person and that this better person is what you want to be. The last step to a successful life that encompasses all of these things is consistency. You could call it discipline. Uh, you could call it practice. But consistent week in, week out, month in, month out, work, practice, focus, intention, tasks, goals, the consistency of how you go about your life is going to create good habits for you. It's going to help you get to a place or to be a person that you want to be because Along the way, you're going to fail. And most of life is failing at what you want to get. And you're going to have to adapt and you're going to have to change a bunch of things. And as long as you keep trying, as long as you persevere, as long as day in, day out, you're like, yep, I'm going to keep doing this. I'm going to get this. I'm going to get through my goals. I'm going to work on this. That is going to get you to a place to be a person, to a situation, to a feeling that you want to have in your life. With consistent effort, you're able to develop really, really good habits. You're able to develop good disciplines. You're able to focus on the things that you're not getting or that you might be failing at or that you might be a, a, like being very close to getting. And over time, that momentum 
is going to build up and you're going to get the life you want. Kind of like building a house. You can't build a house in a day. You can't build a house in a week. You have to consistently go at it step by step by step to get it to the point of where it's going to be finished and it's going to be a place that you want to live in. And so if you think of it in that way, it takes a quite a long time. Imagine if you were building a house by yourself. Essentially, that's your life. And so that sort of consistency along with your values, your vision, your goals, your community to help you is going to create the successful life that you want, that makes you happy, that gives you all of the, the good stuff that you, you want as part of it. You're going to have challenges. You're going to have struggles. Life is going to happen to you. But at the end result, you are going to get a better life than you actually even thought possible. And I know because I did it. I tried it. And it works. And it got me to this place. And it's going to get me further. And I'm going to keep at it as well. So I hope that helps. And uh, if you're really enjoying the content, if you like what I'm doing, then like it, subscribe to it, and uh, let's help spread the, uh, the good life to others. But you first, of course. Thanks. Have a good one. Now back to the content.